great monday morning everyone how are you all doing this is your girl shan happy monday i hope and pray that you all had an amazing relaxing restful weekend okay i'm here to tell you <laughs> the kings had an amazing weekend spending quality time with family that's actually what we're going to be talking about a little bit on this morning but um, I want to remind you, because it is Monday, so Marriage Mondays with the Kings, our radio show will be on tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on KRGN 98.5 FM, The Rock, okay? Tonight, we're going to be talking about finding safety in your marriage. Again, finding safety in your marriage. And so I'm a little behind because of the quality family time that I spent um, with my family on this weekend. So today I will be posting all the information about tonight's show. There are various um, ways that you can listen in on tonight's show, okay? So as the coffee crew come in, I'm gonna say good morning to Dalisha's that continue to come in, I'll say good morning. But <clears throat> today's topic is your marriage hit stronger when you had that quality time. Your marriage hit stronger when you have that quality time. <sighs> okay. Y'all y'all always know I'm going to talk about what irritates me, what really irritates my soul. When it comes to marriage, when it comes to our marriages, I cannot stand when people check the box just to say, oh, I did that. You know what I'm saying? You just check the little pretty block to be like, oh, I did that. But we don't understand. How is it that we can expect our marriage to get stronger if we don't even spend quality time? Just a question. Hey, Miss Delia, if we don't spend quality time with our husband or our wife, how is it that you can expect your marriage to be stronger? Hmm. Something to think about. Think about this. You can't get stronger as far as your muscles and things like that if you don't spend quality time in that gym. You can't get stronger as a Christian. You know, for those of us who call ourselves children of the most high God, if you don't spend quality time in that word. So how is it and where did it even come about where we set up and think that our marriage will go stronger if we, if we don't spend no quality time? Well, I'm, I'm here. I see Kenya. I mean, he over there. You know what I'm saying? We be at home a lot of time together, but... You can, you can be in the same space, but not spend quality time with each other. I don't get it. And so, of course, I'm going to talk about the children here in a minute as well. You can't get better as an individual if you don't take quality time to pamper yourself. A lot of you all, let me be honest, God is taking me here and I'm going to be obedient. Y'all know me. A lot of you all are suffering from high blood pressure right now. Hey, Latanya. A lot of you all are that had mouth strokes and you haven't even hit the age of 40. Not to say you're going to be 40 when you get the strokes, but I'm just saying. You haven't even hit the age of 40. Some of y'all done had mouth heart attacks and all these things like that. Why? Because somewhere we lie to ourselves and, and that sense of being a belonging in existence where we tell ourselves, we got to do this. We got to do this. We got to do that. We got to do that. What? I know some of y'all set up and think, well, Shan, why is it that you go so hard about this quality time? You know, me and my husband, we often speak about date night. It is very important to date each other, okay? Hello, Wendy. It is very important. And I'm about to get my date game up. A lot of y'all need to get y'all's date game up. Hey, Tiffany, when it comes to dating your husband and your wife, baby, I don't under this is what I don't understand. Help your girl out. I am so serious because I do go back and read these comments and I respond one by one. But help your girl out, right? How is it that we had all the time in the world? Yes, I'm about to call some folks out. We had all the time in the world when we were dating our spouse. Hey, Chandra, how you doing, girl? All the time. You heard me? Baby, we was taking that extra time to look cute, honey. We was making sure, ladies, we was making sure that outfit was on point, honey. So that way, when he said he just shook when he see you, okay? Uh, fellas, you was taking the time to get your, make sure your head was edged up, honey. Making sure that breath was on point. Your clothes was lined up. Kicks was tight, whatever. I don't care if you was wearing some J's or some Stacey Adams. You was making sure that you were on point. That was before you said I do when you was dating, when you was trying to ensure that your spouse, boyfriend or girlfriend back then was falling, you know, will fall in love with you and they know, hey, this is who I want. What happened after you got married? See, let me, <clears throat> let me be real because I was thinking about this on this morning. As you all know, me and my husband try to spend as much time as we can together, but it hasn't always been like that. I'm not talking about just time. I'm talking about quality time. You can't be in a car on a road trip 
You got one driving and you got the other one stuck in their cell phone. Good morning, um, Cedric. How you doing? What's up, what's up, cousin? You, that ain't quality time. You see what I'm saying? You on your cell phone quiet. You sitting up here driving, humming, and listening to the music. But because y'all was in the same vehicle, that, that's quality time. That's not quality time. Now, let me tell you, and I have to be honest and real with you all, because you know I like to be very transparent, right? Some of y'all can relate to what I'm about to say. So Friday nights is the date nights for the Kings. For those of you, hey, Mama Robinson, that's been following us for some time, we shuts it down. You hear me on Friday. Nobody better not call. Baby, I have clients calling. Hey, she ain't da 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 da. And I like, baby, forgive me. This is what I tell my husband now. This is so and so calling you. I just want to see if it's an emergency. Call. Uh, hey, she ain't da da da. Uh, you know it's Friday, right? Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Y'all have an amazing date night. Boom, boom, boom. Shuts it down. I didn't even have to answer, but I was answering as of courtesy. But let me tell you something that would set my whole soul off. If me and my husband have this quality time that we've set aside for date night, somebody call on his phone. Now, mind you, he's not a soldier anymore. That man is retired, okay? Retired military. He's not a soldier anymore. So there is no need for him to pick up no type of phone call. First sergeant ain't calling. The command ain't calling. Even if they are, you need to teach people how to respect you. Good morning, Kim, and respect your time. If you not on the clock, they shouldn't be calling you after hours. When I was a supervisor, I never called my staff after hours unless it was an emergency. And that was very rare. You hear me? But if me and my husband on date night, I'm dressed up. I'm looking all cute for him. He looking cute, you know, handsome, smelling good. We gets to wherever we gonna go. And he say, oh, baby, I gotta take this phone call. And that joke was on the phone for a whole 25, 15, 30 minutes while we dating. Your girl going to have a case of the behind. I'm going to say it just like that. Y'all know what I mean. Oh, I am going to be 38 hot. You hear me? Because number one, and some of y'all are so guilty of this, and this is why I believe God allowed me to speak on this this morning. Some of y'all are so guilty of this because you like, well, at least I'm like, what you get mad for? Have y'all had this argument? What you get mad for? And you looking, let me enact this within myself. Really? <laughs> what am I getting mad for? You do know this is our day now, right? Like, did you really have to take that phone call? Did you really have to respond back to that text? Is that really what you had to do? Was it an emergency? Was they bleeding? Because if they was bleeding, they should have called 911. How many of y'all had some of these arguments? Don't lie to yourself. Don't lie to yourself. You know you have, but you ain't got to tell on yourself either. That's disrespectful. That is not quality time. You sitting up here checking the block. That's not quality time. I'll give another example. Let me come on down some roads real quick and turn off on some roads. That's just like people. You up in church every Saturday. You up in church every Sunday. But baby, if you're not spending quality time with God, get in your word at the house. If you're not praising God at the house, if you're not praying at the house, you going to church on Wednesdays and Sundays. Ain't nothing but checking the block. You going for social setting. That's what you're going for. You're not going for anything else. You see what I'm saying? And so let me even take it for our single parents. Maybe, you know, you're a single, single mom or single dad on here and you say, I'm not married. I'm just on here getting them nuggets for when, you know, I do get married. But let me holler at you real quick. One of the saddest things that I've ever heard my children say, and most of them are grown now, but heard my children say is how their parent does not spend quality time with them. Now, of course, growing up in the church, I'm not bagging on the church or whatever the case may be. But remember, my babies were in the church. I'm sitting up here and I, no judgment, no not. Because guess what? If, for those of you who don't go to church, don't be trying to bang on church, folks. Because guess what? Y'all tell do the same thing when it comes to your job. Baby, you ain't the CEO. You hear me? Anyway, I digress. So when my babies, I'm sitting up here looking at their mom and daddy, not in judgment. But I'm like, wait, how do you not spend no time with your kid? Yes, Ms. Shan, we always here at the church but when it comes to anything that I want to do or me and my siblings want to do outside of church it doesn't happen lack of quality time hey Paula Jean so we can't set up her and expect for our marriage to prosper if we if we don't spend no quality time with each other don't just check the block and say well yeah we went out to eat okay but what did y'all do did y'all have quality time sometimes me and my honey be upstairs in the man cave we be upstairs, we'll watch a movie. We in them recliners. We got our hands interlinked. When a commercial or something comes on or whatever, me and him talking, we laughing. When is the last time you laughed? When you really spend quality time with your honey, baby, y'all can laugh, y'all can joke, y'all can flirt with each other, y'all can have an amazing time. But because of everything else is more important 
to you, then your marriage will get put on the back burner. So that's why you can't spend quality time. And let me tell you why. Because you choose not to spend quality time. Before I get ready to go, this is one of the other things that God placed on my heart. And I was like, wow, the reason why you hear me go so hard and be so passionate about this is because I speak to a lot of widowers, people who have lost their husband or their wife. They've lost their loves. They've lost their hearts. You know what I'm saying? I listen to the older folks, you know, because the word of God does say in the New Testament that the older women should teach the younger women. I was talking about that on last week but when I was talking about Stella. But anyway, <laughs> I, I spend time and I listen to the older folks. I listen to people who are widowed. And what is one thing that I always hear them say? Man, if I could just have one more day with my love. It came too quick. They died too quick. If I could just have just one more hour with them. And I'll ask, if you could have one more hour, what would you do? What would you say? See, this is the problem with us today. We think we have all the time in the world to do what needs to be done. Oh, well, we'll get better later on. And I'm sitting up here and I'm listening to these widowers who are crying over their loves. They're crying over their hearts and they wish that they would have just had one more hour. We have the choice to choose what is of importance. You see what I'm saying? I don't want to be that, God forbid, widower or whenever the time come, if God called me home to glory or my husband, I don't want to be that, that, that widower saying, I wish I had another hour. I wish I had another day. What memories are you creating with your honey? And you can't sit up here and tell me, well, Shan, you don't understand. I don't have enough time. Let me tell you this. If you got time enough to argue throughout the day via text, you got time enough to pick up that phone and argue, cuss your spouse out and hang up that phone. You have time enough to argue for two or three hours when you get home from work or whatever it is that you're doing. Baby, you got time for quality time. It's what you choose to do. You see what I'm saying? And this is what me and my husband tell people all the time. Tell them all the time. It is your choice. I can want the best for you all. My husband can want the best for you all. We can want the best for your marriage. But if you don't choose to put in the work, it's nothing that we can do. That's just like a person that may be weighing 300 and something pounds and they want to shed all this weight and they're having health issues because the fat around their heart is choking out their heart and that's where they're having many strokes and all this kind of stuff like that. Baby, I could want for you all day. I could want the best for you, but it's nothing I could do to change the situation, honey. It's you as an individual watching what you put in your mouth. What you feed your flesh, you know what I'm saying? It's you as the individual that's watching, you know, you getting on the elliptical, you running down the street. I can want it, but if you don't want it, it's nothing I can do. Me and my husband, yes, we've been, I was about to say preaching on marriage, but I guess we have. For almost three years now, God has had us in this game trying to help people to see how you can make a difference in your marriage. But baby, let me tell you, it's not me and Mr. King. It's not us. God gives us wisdom and we speak that wisdom in which he give us in the way that he wants us to do it. But if you're not willing to take that in and affect change for the better, hey, how you doing, Alex? Then it's nothing me and Mr. King can do to make your marriage better. It takes the two of you to tango, as they say. So do you spend effective quality time with your husband or your wife? Or do you sit down with them, you check off the blocks, and then you set up here and say, yeah, well, 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 you know, we got to wait for the weekend, but most of the time you was on your cell phone. You see what I'm saying? Most of the time you was checking those emails at work. Most of the time you act like everybody else can't exist without you. Let me tell you, sir, ma'am, if this is what you do, if this is what you do when it comes to your quote unquote quality time with your honey, you're being very disrespectful to your spouse. That's what you're doing. Because let me tell you what quality time spells. Quality time communicates to your husband or your wife that nothing or no one else is more important in my life right now at this moment while I'm spending time with you than you. Baby, let somebody call and I'm spending time with my honey. I'm not trying to ignore people, but I tell you a great deal of time. I look over at that phone. I ain't answering it. My husband be like, well, baby, you know you ain't. Mm -mm. Because guess what? My time that I'm spending with you is most important. You see what I'm saying? If God was to take my husband and call him home to glory, I have time to spend with the other people. If God say the same. But I want to make every minute with my husband count. 
How many of y'all can say that? You don't say that because the homies is more important. Your girlfriends is more important. The people down at the church is more important. Your supervisors on your job and you kissing their backside is more important. Who am I talking to on today? So don't be getting mad at your honey right now. Somebody, did you contact Shan? Did you tell her anything that was going on in our house? No, your honey did not. That's what God gave me. This is for somebody on today. It always is. I always say I don't know who it's for, but you need to reevaluate what you consider to be quality time. You hear me? Let me tell you what that looked like. When you plan, and my homegirls say this all the time, put something on the calendar. Don't just verbally say out of your mouth. Start putting it concretely on the calendar because if you don't put it on the calendar, it's not going to happen. Put it on your husband's cell phone calendar, your wife's cell phone calendar, whatever. Make a day, make a routine out of it because your marriage cannot hit stronger if you don't have that quality time. And when you in that quality time, you need to shut everything else down. Sit your kids down because our babies know because they be looking at us crazy and sideways. Oh, y'all ain't going on day night tonight. What's wrong with y'all? Mama, daddy, uh-uh, y'all got to Today, see, that's the example we set for our children. I want our children to be able to grow up. And I was thinking about this and I promise you this is my last closing, you know, <laughs> but I want our children to grow up and be able to say, I want the kind of love that my mom and my daddy had. I want me and my husband to be that example. I don't want my my kids looking up to any type of worldly uh, 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 celebrities. No, I'm not knocking the celebrities. Baby, y'all do what y'all do. You know what I'm saying? But I, it starts in the house. I want them to be able to see how we love each other. We play with each other. We have a good time with each other. And I want them to be like, I want the love that my mama and daddy had. We worked hard to get here. Many of y'all worked hard to get to where you are right now. So why is it that you would not want to be an example for your children? Y'all don't understand. You, mama and daddy, you, husband and wife, are the first teachers that your children see. What are you teaching them? Okay, don't say that they're going to be okay. Children are resilient because whatever you do or don't do is what's going to hinder them or help them prosper in their life. Trust me, I, be, I told you 12, 13 years I was working with teenagers. You hear me? That they're carrying this hurt as teenagers because of what their parents is doing. So I suggest you go on and get your whole life together. You may think that quality time, oh, my wife, I always want to spend time with me. Every time I turn around, my husband want to spend time with me. Baby, let me tell you what playing in my mind when I started to complain. That God could, God forbid, take my husband home today. And if he did, and it was his time to leave this earth, I wanted to be able to look back on the memories. Because anybody know me, if we get together with anybody, your girl Shen going to be taking pictures. When me and my honey go on day night, I'm taking pictures. Because I keep pictures. I got pictures of a whole bunch of folks, even on her. You hear me? Hey, Laura. And I keep pictures because those are the memories in which you are creating. But a lot of you are not creating any memories with your marriage because you're not spending that quality time. So, Marriage Mondays with the Kings will be on tonight at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on KRG and 98.5 FM. We will be discussing the topic. Oh, yes, and we always break it down like a fraction. Finding safety in your marriage. What does safety in your marriage look like to you? So, join us tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I will put all the information up here in about five minutes. Just scroll on down the page and you'll see how to link up on the various avenues. But I just pray and ask you... Please re-examine the quality time that you been, spend with your spouse. Don't wait until it's too late and you sit up her crying over a casket, wishing that you had one more hour like a lot of the widowers that I know do, okay? So y'all have a blessed day. Don't let anybody steal your joy. Be a blessing to somebody today and not a curse. Share this because it's free. Your girl Shannon will be back with y'all tomorrow. Whatever it is, God place in my heart. So God bless y'all and blessings to you. Happy Monday.